Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I got a video that I wanted to upload a while back, but I didn't. I don't know the reason why I didn't do it. I just never got around to it. But this, this is the time that I went down to Walmart and gave out the toilet paper and the money to people. Well, the day that I did that, I got called up by WALB. And at first I thought it was a joke. I got the message through Facebook. And I don't usually trust stuff like that. But you know what? I decided to go for it. I sent the woman a message. She said she wanted to meet up with me or if I wanted to do it some other way because of COVID and everything that was going on at that moment. So I told her that I could meet up and we could do it outdoors and be like six feet, 12 feet apart from each other. But she ended up calling me later telling me that it would be better if we do it over Skype, which I was fine with. And this is how it turned out. New tonight, a Power Ranger in Moultrie is handing out toilet paper and cash. Yeah, you heard that right. WLB News 10's Bobby Portman spoke to the Red Ranger. He's a father of two fighting against COVID-19 as a mask vigilante. That introduction, it made me feel some type of way, you know? It made me feel like, like a superhero. Yo, what is up, guys? Today we're gonna be giving out toilet paper and money to people with all this going on, hair, so. Man. I had some extra toilet paper and I'm finna give them out to older people. Let's go. This YouTube video has now gained almost 4,000 views since being published last Tuesday. Why a Power Ranger? Oh, uh, because, um, well, a little bit behind the Power Ranger suit is because um, I had bought it for my son's birthday party because he was really into Power Rangers. So I got it custom made. When I put on the suit for my son, he was so happy. So. Since my son was happy, I figured other kids would be happy too. And then they were. The twenty. Yeah, guys, I actually have a video with my son at his birthday party. So if y'all like to see it, just comment down there and I'll pull it up and I'll post it on my YouTube. But yeah, guys, that's how it all started. That's the reason I wear the Power Ranger costume. I actually ordered it to surprise him for his birthday party. He was happy. 28 year old father and husband says he gave out around 20 rolls of toilet paper and $80 in cash that day at Walmart. I was reading that some people lost their jobs and because of all the coronavirus thing going on. So I just thought a little bit of money would also help them out. What ended up being an afternoon of giving spawned from a conversation with his brother while watching YouTube videos. And those YouTube videos were for Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Love me some pies. Their goal was simple, bring joy to children and help those in need, especially older people during an international health pandemic. I gained peace of mind because I'm like, I had some toilet paper in the house and I, it just bothered me that there wasn't people with any toilet paper. I don't really gain nothing of this except that peace of mind. It made me feel great. You might say Roberto is a living example of the saying, not all heroes wear capes. Reporting on Moultrie. Bobby Portavent, WALB News 10. Roberto says this won't be the last time he hands out items to those in need. It won't be the last time I do this. That felt good. Getting recognized for something I thought I wasn't going to get recognized for. It was amazing. And it sucks that I had to stop doing all this because people were saying, why are you going out there during COVID? You're going to infect everybody. Even though I had gloves and a mask, I mean, no air could come out that mask. Like, it was the maximum protection. You can't get more protected than that. But still, I had people criticize me like, you shouldn't do that. You won't get people sick. So you know what? To stop people from criticizing me, I just stopped. I don't know if it was the right thing to do because at the beginning of all this, everything was just so confusing. They didn't know how the virus spread or anything, but they said if you wear a mask, it should stop it. If you stayed more than six feet away from each other, it should stop it. They also criticized me because they wouldn't go take pictures with me, and that wasn't Six feet apart but you know what i had the helmet on though i know it's increasing right now but i'm still gonna do videos with the power ranger outfit i will not get close up to people if that's what you're thinking no i'll do it from far away from a distance i'll find a way to make videos well anyways that's all i wanted to share with y'all today power ranger stuff are coming in the future Be looking forward to it and i will see you later peace out